Hi, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Michael Yan. Uh, today, I gotta um, show you how to animate uh, React with GStep. So let's start with the beginning. Uh, why do we care about animation? Um, uh, animation grabbing our attention. So as we see something, uh, our brain actually process much slower than our eyes. So um, we will like select our um, attention depending on uh, variety factor. So one of the uh, factors is like if the thing is moving or not. So that's uh, what animation is. And second is like um, when uh, uh, more attention just means like uh, if you like building a business, um, uh, if you can get more attention, you probably like will have more, pro uh, more profit. And also, if you try to uh, build a personal website, you will also add a personality to your website and match your website like much um, awesome and uh, stand out to other uh, regular website. And okay, uh, next, I want to introduce the the library called GSAP. So it stands for uh, Green Star Animation Platform. It's a JavaScript animation library, especially designed for um, animations. Um, you can think of it as a Swiss Army life of um, JavaScript animation. So. Um, GSAP uh, is basically can um, animate anything JavaScript can touch, including um, CSS property of DOM elements, and uh, and uh, just uh, also like canvas object. And some of the core tools from this uh, from GSAP library including uh, twin light, twin max, timeline time light, and timeline max, and uh, many plugins. So today, uh, in the later demo, I will show you how to use the timeline light library to create uh, animation. So uh, why GSAP? So first, of course, it's like, really easy to use. And you can write less code to make a really cool animation. So here, um, I will show you this uh, code pen from uh, it's made of from GSAP. So it's basically just uh, a stack animation, a stagger animation. So. Um, Stagger animation is basically um, uh, instead of animate a group of objects at once, uh, we animate them one after the other with the delay. We call it stagger. And one of the real life example, like um, a traffic, a line of traffic yeah, between each traffic car, like between each car, um, you have like delay for each car. They will like move one after the other. So another reason to use GSAP is uh, it's popular. So a lot of, you can get a lot of support. There's a, a lot of tutorial video and uh, forum. You can ask questions about it and it's, Good for complex animation. So imagine like if you implement a stagger animation with a CSS, it would be like probably will write a tons of code. And it's also high performance. And how to use React with GSAP. So Today we're gonna use the React animation add-on called a React Transition Group. <coughs> so React Transition Group is an API made by React. Um, itself does not define animation, it, but it provides the 
component life cycle hook to its child component. So when we're building React app, we'll know that we're using some life cycle component like component demand. So what this React transition group does is just like provide some kind of life cycle to its child, child component. So this, there are six life cycle hooks for, especially for animations. So uh, most of the time we just use uh, the, this two. I highlight it with the red color, call a component will enter and the component will leave. So we'll talk about more here. So um, component will enter is basically um, it will call, it will not call for the initial rendering, but it will call every time you re-rendering. So and uh, at the same time of the component demand, and the component will leave, will call like whenever the component has been moved from React Transition Group. So why these two are useful? Because uh, um, when you, re when you uh, remount some component, you want it performs some animation. And then when you unmount it, you also want it to perform some other kind of animation. So yeah, we start with the demo. So let's refresh this. So I create a simple React app to simulate um, a poker game. So when I click this, you will see like it make a, actually you can see like two animation here. One is for a deal hand to, to the player. The other one is like deal hand to the comp component. And you can see like for this animation, they are both staggers. But for this one, it also flipping the car, but for the opponent, it's not. If you click this again, you can see right now it has like four animation going on. So first, uh, your hands will, will your, your, the cars on your hand will leave first, perform the, the leave animation, and then you will perform the same animation at the beginning. And then same for the component. So I want to uh, walk through step by step, like how do I implement this? Um, that's OK. Let's just go to the slide. Um, how to. So what we use, we, of course, we uh, use React. Also, mentioned earlier is the React Transition Group. It's like a bridge to connect React and the GSAP library. And also use the GSAP. Also, we were like mentioning the higher order component at the end. It's not required for this. So I have a starting point here. Uh, first, you can see that there's a component called a table, which the entire table including the deck, my hand, the uh, component hand, which is the child component of this table. So first, I will add a state to this table component. You can see um, right now my state have like two object. First object has a uh, hand cards. I mean, bo uh, both object has a uh, hand cards, but they have like different, different cards have different ID and the values. So, and then I also passing the state as prop to the child component. Also, I wrap this two child component inside a transition group. So, um, the result will be the, uh, this two child component can access to the, the animation life cycle hooks we mentioned earlier, which is like the six life cycle Life cycle hooks. Um, second, um, next we will um, define our 
my, my hand component. So first, we will add the, the component live cycle code to this, to this uh, hand component. So I will use these two life cycle code called a, a component will enter and the component will leave. So first uh, we need to map we need to map the hand cars array with, we're getting from this dot props and then render each car component and passing passing the prop to each car component. Next, we'll define our car component. is pretty simple. It's a dump component. It takes the props and it just render render um, a car div. But uh, instead of with instead of contain one div because we want to make a car flip animation, so we have to add it like two div consist uh, of car front and the car back. So notice uh, I put the car back after the car front so so the car back will like uh, will cover car front and then car front will be invisible. So I could write uh, Another component called a component hand, because when we render the when we uh, doing the animation, we want to have like a player and the component. Um, I mean, opponent have uh, different hands. So instead, we write this component. We just use the same component to render two hand one for player and the other for opponent because they just doing the same thing but we can pass different props to each component so they will have different different card. So I will also wrap these two child component inside a transition group. So where is animation? We have to define our animations inside the two lifecycle hooks. So first, the component will enter. We need to select the element, uh, which is Yeah, we select the Yeah, we're gonna find all of the car in our hand and Yeah, we select them by class name and then we use those car we selected to find all the front car and the back car and uh, we call this animation so we create this animation file and uh, call the method we define it there. And by passing some argument, we can like, perform some animation. So same thing with the uh, component will leave. But here we gotta use a different animation method. So let's look at the animation file. Uh, so first we got deal hand, which is which is for like um, when we start animation when the uh, when we start in the hand we want to make a stagger uh, animation for all of the cards and then we want to make a car flip animation. So for the uh, flip like mechanism so on the demo you see we need to in order to hide backside yeah we, we need to add a CSS property called a, a back face back face visibility and set it to hidden so 
uh, when the car is flipping, it will be become uh, invisible. And empty hand animation, pretty much very similar to the the deal hand, except uh, we only need to change this Y position. And for further optimization, we can use the higher order component so that uh, we can just pass in some dumb component and uh, it will return a component with uh, a life cycle hooks to perform some animations. Uh, so right now we can remove the life cycle hooks from our hand component to make a dump component. And if you learn more, you can um, click out the links. And thank you. <coughs>